Hello and welcome. We're going to do something a little bit different this time. We've got Brad Seeger and myself throwing some shots with the Phase 4, getting our initial reactions, and getting loose to shoot the review video coming up soon. If this is something that you would like us to continue to do, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Alright, Phase 4, 42 foot house shot. Pattern specs at the bottom. 15 to 9. Okay. Hey, what do you know? Alright, so we have the R2S Pearl with the phase core. I'll try it all by side team, maybe. I missed outside a little bit, which is nice that I can miss there and I'll come back. I don't know if that's the core or... cover should store a good amount of energy. Try not to just send this one to the ditch. Yeah, I kept that one in a little bit. Not relying on the dry, just relying on the ball to take it in there. Which I don't think you necessarily have to rely on the dry for this ball. It has, uh, well, that first shot I threw was well, it, it, the it, Yeah. Time. Let's go wide. Too, so wide. Well, you can bounce it. You can do either or. Still came up. Do you think it reminds you of like. A cleaner Zen, or like, what do you think it reminds you of? It's got a little bit less read cover wise from the Zen by the field things. But like, the shape of mine is very, I don't know. And yeah, that was a couple boards wider at the break. Yeah. Yeah, try if you think you can. I'll see if I can. It's not my forte, but... Uh, look at that. Should I try to do that? Ah, right, here we go. I don't think if I strike it's going to look that impressive from that far left, but... rotation, a little more forward roll. If I'm going to miss, it's going to be on this one. I do like this ball already. Okay, just throw it in. Yeah, I know. Just throw it in. I do like this ball already. Sometimes my zen gets like too strong. Whereas I think like this will be longer lasting. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I was pushing it. 
definitely will react to the dry though. Let's see if you can. Again. See if you can go far left. Let's see if you can really get around it. Alright, pushing the limits on a fresh. But I think you can make that work. If, it was, if we had a bigger bounce spot down there, yeah. let's say third game, I think you can make that work. I'm actually excited to follow it with my Nova. I'm going to follow my, this ball with from my Nova. Yeah, I only need two balls now. <laughs> Nova phase four? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, what other ball would it be? Nova phase four. Yeah, it's just not... Spectre will come back on that. It's got a really hard read up the spot. I mean, do I really need to be all the way up there? No, we don't. We don't need to be all the way up there. <laughs> I can just keep throwing strikes. This is for science. This is for science. Yeah, it's three again. So I'm going to try the first one. It's definitely a lot sharper. Yeah, hard to read off the well, what's I wonder what the R3S. That's what's out there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so phase three. We'll try the phase three against the phase four. This is gonna be a lot more round. Yeah, I see. Probably. Well we'll see what happens. We'll see we'll see what happens. shape, just a different shape. When I got that ball, it was pretty snappy, but now as I've used it, it's gotten a lot more closer to the face too, I would say. I wonder if that's the core versus cover. Because if that's a R3S, Speaker's R3S, and Phase 4 is R2S, you would think that the, the cover of the Spectre would pick up faster. Yeah, a little harder response. But the core in the Phase 4 is so much bigger and beefier. Earlier, earlier, Alright, should I throw the Phase 3 again? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it it's not as dynamic, it's not going to turn that. I'm just, I'm just laying it out there. If you like any phase ball, phase four, you're going to like. Phase four on the same line as the phase three. That was pretty it's just so much just harder off the spot. Whereas it is a pearl, so it's throwing the energy, and the phase three is a hybrid, so it's definitely reading. Should be really more in the middle overall. Like hey, it still counts. Multiple van shots it's, in a row. It still counts. I'm 
like in the middle of the lane for the ball. And yeah. that's a, that's my sweet spot. Middle part of the lane in league or a tournament. Well, it depends on what pattern. But in league, definitely, if I'm like in the middle there, I don't have to move around too much. That's my best score. You're also, not reliant on the dry on that shot. Yeah, that's true. That's, yeah, that's true too. I don't really think it's like very speed sensitive. I'll give this one a little bit more speed and see if I can, if it holds the right I didn't get it past the break point. I missed it a little outside, but I was saying when before. I don't think it's very speed sensitive. Where some balls, you know, if you throw it too slow, it just cuts across the face. Yeah, it's like this one, you know, you it's can. It's got some hold that you slow yeah. down. And you can get it rolled slow, you can get it rolled fast. Obviously, you have to be playing the correct part of the lane. Sometimes standing in the right place is more important than making a good shot. Like that? I'm really testing the slope. <laughs> yeah, you are. I threw it fast last time, it looked really good. Yeah, I could speed that up if you're yeah. actually gonna bounce it. I'll try it, I'll try to throw it fast. Oh, there we did it. I think you were a little that flat was, on the hands. Yeah, I was a little flat. That was that was super duper fast. For me. I tried to tend not to throw it that fast. I would just change more balls. Requires out of control. I'm gonna speed this one up out the hair. Thank you. 